what is this like for you to be here up the road from where um, you're? It, it feels good. It feels like home. You know, it's good to be in my own backyard. You know, I didn't have to travel that long. So it, it's been a blast to come out here. And, you know, I, I grew up watching the Suns and, you know, watching Steve Nash. So I actually be in the facility and uh, getting to work out for him is a, is a blessing and a good opportunity. How many workouts have you done? Uh, this is actually my first one, so for it to be in Phoenix, it's, it's, it's pretty neat. What did you think of it? Um, I liked it. You know, anytime you can just get in and uh, show your talents, it's, it's, it's good. So um, it was really fun and it was competitive, and um, I think the guys that I was with did a good job. Where are you headed next, or what's the plan? Um, I'm, I'm not sure. You know, I'm going to head back home and uh, continue working out with my pops, and um, um, from there, uh, just go from there. Did you ever come up here for games growing up? Um, I, I, I got a couple games. You know, my dad's uh, one of my good friends is Jason Terry. You know that Jason Terry with the uh, Dallas Mavericks yeah. and the Suns rivalry. So that was one of my, my favorite series. So I, I got to catch a couple games. So who were you rooting for? It was hard. <laughs> it, was, it was so hard. You know, I wanted Jason Terry to do good, but I wanted the Suns to win. So it was hard. I kept bouncing back and forth. What's it just like for you to be in this position? You got a long road going the Juco route and everything. Uh, it's just a blessing, you know. Um, I know my work is here isn't done, but um, it's just a blessing and a good opportunity to, to keep going and keep, keep playing the sport that I love. What are you trying to show in these workouts? Um, just that I can get my teammates better by moving the ball. Um, I like the pressure on defense um, and, and, and shoot shots when I'm open and, and win basketball games. Because your dad coaches, he's sort of your off-season trainer. Yeah, he, you know he played um, basketball and football at the U University of Arizona, so he's my mentor. You know, my dad, and that's also my best friend. So anything um, that I have a problem with, I talk to him, and you know we fix my shots and fix the things that I need to work on. Do you have so, any expectations for what might happen later on this month, Jim? Uh, I just I just want to keep continue working hard, and uh, hopefully um, God gives me the opportunity to keep playing in the NBA. Are M5 people okay with you being in the Pueblo gym? Um, I haven't really heard too many things about uh, that, but, you know, I, I go back to M5 uh, sometimes. You know, it's just my dad having to get to coach at Pueblo, so I'm just there most of the time. What advice has your dad given you for this process? Um, you know, just continue being a leader um, and uh, continue playing and just be me. Um, go out there and give it my all and show what I've been working on. Did you know Ryan at all? Because he went to you. I mean, just because you guys were in town together a little bit. Um, I I, I, did, I knew him a little bit. Um, and I, I think I seen him in the airport after we lost that first round. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so you know, I, I knew him a little bit, but not too much. How long that one take to get over? Oh, I'm still getting over it. You know, I'm, I'm using all that uh, frustration right now and getting these workouts in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.